do that live skin fingerprint thing because I have a glamorous job at a county facility. And when they, they spray your hands, and I was like, oh, what is that? Some sort of thing to whatever, make it read the machine? She was like, it's a very special, m m like, water-based special magical thing. And I looked and it was like, Windex. Mm. Um, I just got in from Tennessee like an hour ago because my life is awesome. I was dealing with my white trash side of the family that I like to call the Redneck Outlaw Brigade. And it was just it was like the most awesome weekend of my life. But it is really hard to take your cousin seriously when she has had all of her bottom teeth pulled. <laughs> and her mouth was like, eh, like she looked like a little old man. And I was just like, I don't know why they didn't put a bridge in, but she just had no bottom teeth. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let's talk about serious things. I'm gonna try not to laugh in your face. I was also not drinking. I went like uh, almost more than, like a little over two weeks without drinking because I was literally drowning inside a bottle of Pinot Grigio. But that weekend in Tennessee got me right back to where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucking A. Like 10 a.m. I looked at my brother-in-law and I was like, is it, no, too early? Can't drink yet? Okay. Can't fly with weed anymore. Thanks, 9-11. <laughs> uh, anyway, it used to be so easy. Um, I am a secretary by trade because I got my degree in theater with most everyone in this room. Um, and uh, when I'm not secretary, I'm drinking. I could pretty much leave now because that's all you really need to know about me. Um, I work at the county hospital in East LA. It's amazing. Um, my first week there when I moved into the hospital. I, I don't want to brag, but I've been working for USC for 12 years. So I don't know. But um, I um, when I first moved into the county hospital, there was human shit in the stairwell next to my office. No one cared. No one came and cleaned it up. There were shoe prints on it. Been, it's been two years. Still there. Fossilized <laughs> Um So, um, yeah, I swear to God, it's still fucking there. And um, sometimes there's just a bloody gurney like in the hallway. And it's glamorous, to say the least. Um, I, there's always uh, the convicted felons, too. I just thought of this. And you always see them. I work in radiology, so when they go to get their x-rays, they bring the, the guys up in their jumpsuits. And there's, like, I guess varying degrees of what maybe their crime was. Like, sometimes they just have their wrists shackled. Sometimes they have their feet shackled, too. And they're always, you know, flanked by, by security guards. And sometimes there's women, and when the women have their feet and their wrists shackled, I just want to run up to them and be like, what did you do? Did you kill your husband? What happened? <laughs> but I don't, because I die. Um, so my favorite guilty pleasure just wrapped up another season on television. Um, it's a very um, highbrow show. It's called The Bachelorette. Don't know if anyone in here is willing to admit they watch that horse shit, but I love it. And when I'm watching The Bachelorette, I just can't help but think of what if I were The Bachelorette. And then, well, obviously, first of all, I'd just be shit-faced because I'm not going to make out with a stranger if I'm not seven Pinot Grigios deep. <laughs> Let's get serious here. Um, and then I just think if I were The Bachelorette, I wouldn't need a whole six weeks to get to know these guys. Spare me. <laughs> Then to that first quasi-cocktail party, I'd just be like, okay, everybody put your dicks on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Chong and Peter Shim, you can go. <laughs> um, David, Mark, and Chris, you can stay. Tyrone and Denathan, fantasy suite. <laughs> um, I did that joke in front of this guy all right, find my stalker. Thanks, Facebook. And um, he was like, that joke is really low brow, and your comedy is so clever, and I just feel like you're copping out. You know, Asian guys have small dicks, black guys have big dicks. And I was like, you know who doesn't like that joke? Dudes with small dicks. <laughs> Get out of my face. I mean, off my Facebook. Um, <laughs> I had kind of a dark, dark night in the South Bay last month um, that ended in me losing my uh, debit card. And uh, there's nothing more embarrassing than going to the bank on Monday morning to get a new debit card and they pull up your balance and you're completely overdrawn and the last place you use your credit card 
Is it a bar in Hermosa Beach called Barnacles? <laughs> Obviously, I disputed the charge. <laughs> I was like, Hermosa Beach? No, I live in Hollywood. That couldn't be me. Because you know how I know I wasn't at Barnacles in Hermosa Beach? Because I'm not 17. <laughs> but I was. I was there. <laughs> I don't even remember barnacles, but I was in the South Bay. I think it was me. Um, so I threw my cat a birthday party. <laughs> it's come to that. Yeah, he's 13. There was an Evite with this picture. It started out, I want to say, six fucking years ago. It's just like a joke, like it was an excuse to like have a couple friends over and drink wine and make pot brownies on a Tuesday. Um, but I have to keep doing it in case he remembers because I don't want him to think I forgot and I'm a bad mother because I have one of those and it's real bad for your self-esteem. Um, <laughs> so I just keep throwing him these fucking birthday parties. Sorry, I'm saying fuck a lot. I was in a, I, do you know how many times I heard someone say, I tell you what, this weekend? Too many to count. Too many to count. <laughs> I tell you what, every other word. Um, I'm swearing a lot. I'm trying not to be angry. Um, anyway, um, my cat is also allergic to cats. That's um, he has an inhaler. Not kidding. It's called an arrow cat. He has an inhaler. He also has a shitting problem. Um, he now has uh, hyperthyroid. There's medicine for that. He uh, also has uh, chin acne, which I just have to call cacne. <laughs> and I am at the vet all the time. And one of the last times I went, there was a girl at the front desk that I'd never seen before. And I walked in and she goes, oh, you're Clovis's mom. I was like, I'm fucking famous at the vet. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> H. I'm a little scared that I might have Munchausen by proxy for my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Everyone here listens to NPR? Knew that word? <laughs> when I listen to NPR, I'm like, God, I need to get my PhD or something. I don't know. Um, here's something I hate about Facebook. I mean, I hate a lot about it because I especially hate that time that my ex-boyfriend's father liked my breakup. Mm, I didn't like that. Um, I hated that. Yeah, his name's Dr. Jim Forrester, in case you're interested. Um, I hate when you get this little message in your email that's like, Shelly Moss wants to be friends. And I'm like, mm -mm. no, she does not. Shelly Moss was a bitch that made my junior year of high school a living hell. Shelly Moss wants to look at my pictures and see if I've gotten fat since yeah. high school. Okay? That's what Shelly wants. If that's what she wants, that's fine. Because you know what I want? Tape that joke right there, put it up on Facebook, and tag Shelly Moss in it. <laughs> that's what I want. I'm not brave enough yet. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. Um, sometimes I go to bars and sometimes I give away my phone number because I'm smart. And um, <laughs> oh god, I forgot their parents here. Forge through. Um, is that the right word? Whatever. Brain dead. I gave this young gentleman my phone number and I don't remember. And then the next day I got an email, a text from him that was like, hi, this is Jacob. And I was like, oh, oh, oh that was a guy that looked really young. So I wrote back, please verify your age. <laughs> and um, he wrote that. back, uh, born June 30th, 1987. <laughs> I remember 1987, okay? <laughs> and I said, Jacob, the year you were born, I had already had my period for three years and had been fingered, but it was really nice meeting you. <laughs> and he did not write me back, which is very shocking. I, had he, he probably would have been my boyfriend because he would have balls of steel. <laughs> Plus, like, those young kids are, like, really good with technology. I don't feel like I'm using my droid to its fullest potential. He probably could have helped me with that. Um, okay, I'll just leave you with this. Um, I feel like... We're all really rich here. A lot of people clapped when Amy asked if people were unemployed. Um, I like to pretend like I wasn't poor before the recession. <laughs> oh, God, this recession. Oh, Bernie Madoff, why? Oh, I was just on the cusp of buying a three-bedroom, but I didn't want to be upside down on my 
prime balloon damage mortgage, or other words people with money use. <laughs> oh yeah, I just got the idea to sneak tequila in a water bottle into a bar in my purse. Just thought of that about 15 years ago. And before I would always do that, and my, I'm from the South, and my friends were just like, Amy, you are so white trash. And now they're like, so how does this work? Do I meet you in the bathroom? <laughs> like, yeah, you order a fucking cup of ice and meet me in the bathroom, you retarded. Um, <laughs> oh, the recession. Um, I think it is safe to say that I have never been less affected by a national event my entire life. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm really <laughs>